All right, we're back in the shop, and we're going to be checking out, coming up soon, the GoPower Plus. It's a lithium battery portable AC USB power station. 45,000 milliamp hours, 167 watt hours, high power LED flashlight, fast charging USB, with AC and DC and an LED display. That's what it's all about. It's got a weather band radio on it, so we'll check that out too. And there she is. And like I said, she's currently charging up right now. Has two fans in it. It's telling me that the battery is currently at 83 degrees, which is about the temperature here in the shop. It got a little warm. So, we're going to put that off to the side. We're going to let that charge up. If it gets a full charge in it tonight, we'll probably try it out in the tent with the new hot stove that we're fielding. We're also going to be doing some final thoughts and reviews on the F120 camping fan. The ultra quiet, strong wind aromatherapy, long life battery, and the night light. Now I do know that it runs for about four hours uh, on high fan with the light set at the brightest setting. Um, it's also a little noisy. I checked it with a uh, decibel meter. Um, at high it puts out about 80 decibels on a low it's about 40 um, so it is a little noisy at night running it with the high fan on but with a tent stove you don't really need that much air circulation even in my big Eskimo uh, ice fishing uh, shelter um, so on low we're gonna try it tonight and with the low light setting like a night light and we'll see how that works tonight and we'll have our final review on that uh, come the morning. Um, also, uh, we had some questions about the uh, spice bag that I carry around. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get that. We'll crack that open and go over everything that I have. But for now, if you like my content, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe pass me around like a cheap whore and share me with all your friends and hopefully we can get some more likes and subscribes and it'll help me bring more content so we'll be right back with you okay and welcome back to another episode of in the field with sarge so today before we begin with tonight's final burn on the uh, new tent stove that we made. I'm just going to review some of the products that we're currently testing and using. Um, what I did here was the carbon monoxide uh, detector or alarm uh, needs to be up high in the tent. Um, so I figured I can put it on this little lanyard with a carabiner and just hang it on my ridge line up there. So we're going to be testing that out and I'm going to further research better ways to have your carbon monoxide set uh, alarm set up in inside a hot tent. Um, and we have something new that I can't wait to give uh, a try to. It's a iMusa uh, aluminum espresso maker. I'm going to open that up and show this bad boy to you right now. Look at that. And it is aluminum, but I don't foresee any issues on the stove because it's made to go on a burner. Um, and there's where you put your espresso. There's your water tank. And I'll show you once I get this lid screwed on. It's actually a percolator, but it's a reverse percolator. And it actually comes up through here. And there's your brewed 
uh, espresso right there. Um, I think this will be great for making uh, uh, Cuban style coffee um, where they brew the cream and the sugar together with uh, the heavy coffee beans. So we're going to give that a try tonight. So I can't wait to get it in the tent and get it set up. Um, now uh, I'm going to review the uh, camping fan one more time. Uh, the F120. So far the only thing that I don't like on it is the noise um, at night with the high fan at 80 decibels. Uh, that would just be annoying in the summer maybe but in the winter time no that would keep me up all night but you only get four hours with the high fan and the high uh high level light so again tonight we're going to try it on low with the low light like a night light and we'll see how that goes all right so we've had a whole bunch of comments about my spice bag and some of the ideas that I uh, put together. Um, so I'm going to crack this open and uh, I'll show you everything that I carry just in this bag. Of course, this is just minor stuff uh, for cooking, extra essentials, things like that. The main cooking utensils and all that are in with the pot kit. But for now, let's go ahead and we'll open up the top. And give it an unzip here okay and immediately I have just a regular kitchen camp knife type deal um, which is a broken serrated steak knife that I just sharpened up into a regular little utility knife now as you've seen before I've had the sugars uh, in these lotion bottles um, great for pouring um, so I also have salt and pepper mixed together makes it convenient for me I have uh, it's like a steak seasoning almost like Montreal steak but it's universal for just about anything uh, and here I have some dehydrated onions which is great to add to soups or just about anything as well there's the sugar, a little bit of vegetable oil. Um, there is instant coffee. And over here is some um, uh, chili mix. It's, it's more of hot and spicy. Now also, I have got this box and I'm sure you can see through it. It's just all condiment packages. Uh, it could be anything from chili sauce, hot sauce, ketchup mustard mayonnaise barbecue sauce fry seasoning whatever parmesan cheese um, also i have a little bit of cooking detergent uh, excuse me a little soap detergent um, and here is uh, some honey uh, i like honey in my coffees in my in on everything also, I have these plastic test tubes which screw on tops. Um, this is uh, an instant coffee um, with a little bit of creamer in it. And this is that uh, English toffee instant cappuccino. That's actually one, uh, almost two servings in just in this one tube. And I have several of those um, all ready to go. Altoids container makes a great little container for salt and pepper packets if you need them. Um, let me put these back in here. Up top here, I usually keep packets, you know, of flatware, spoons, knives, forks. Some of these have salt and pepper and moist towelettes in them. Now, in this side pocket here is where I usually keep just some extra cordage, um, some Ziploc bags for any leftovers or anything that I need to store if I'm prepping food. Um, they're great to keep uh, away from the bugs. I also have these, and I use these quite often. These are dehydrated towels, basically. 
I use the cotton ones, not the paper ones. Uh, you can find them at the dollar store. Um, they're great to use. Some are really low quality, but a lot you can find some really good ones. So I keep one of those in there. All you got to do is add water and you'll rehydrate it into a towel. Up front here, I have two of those Mylar uh, emergency blankets in here. And the reason being is it can make a great impromptu tablecloth something to wrap food in to keep it warm um, you know it just has so many multi-purposes that uh, I keep a set there's actually two in here um, I keep a little mini wood bamboo spatula uh, a steak knife a regular plastic knife I have some tasters choice instant coffees in here and of course I have a uh, fire starter set up right here um, the magnesium stick with the steel tape to it uh, and the striker there so I have an alternate form of starting a fire if need be um, over here on this side it's usually just individual packets of either um, creamers or moist towelettes and then in the back pouch um, I have this precision screwdriver set kit and what I do with that is I have some shortened handled picnic silverware that's a, a fork some skewers if I want to make some shish kebabs um, the fork and knife to the camp set are being cleaned right now but they'll go back in there um, once they come back I also keep, um, you know, some extra beverage base for those of you veterans. You know exactly what that is. That's lemon lime beverage base powder, which has a unique, or should I say, distinctive flavor. And you don't ever want to put this inside a military plastic canteen. You'll never get that taste out, unless you like that taste. But that's about it for the uh, condiment spice bag or whatever. Um, you know, if I have any special meals where uh, a certain spice is required, I'll add that into here as well. Um, you know, and it just makes it a whole lot easier to uh, operate and uh, get to and keep everything all organized. So with that, that's about it. And we'll be right back later on this evening with the final tent stove test, the final fan test, and we might even be able to test out uh, the new power supply. Oh, man, it's cold. Oh. All right. Oh. All right, so here we are. Let's go ahead and get a fire started. It's 27 degrees outside, currently 32 degrees inside. As you can see, I just got all the gear and everything stacked on the cot right now. So we're going to get a fire going, get it warmed up in here, and then we'll, uh, we'll get everything situated. Okay, so I got the... Uh, the Go Power Plus, pretty much charged. Battery is at 61 degrees. It says four bars. So what I'm gonna do right now, real quick, is I'm gonna unplug one of our tent lights off of the other one. Oop, lost all the lights. And I'm gonna plug it into the output on this one. And we'll run both lights for a while and see which one is better. So there we go. And we're plugged in. So that's that one. And this one is just a normal uh, generic one you can find on uh, Amazon for about 20 bucks. Uh, 
Um, so we'll see how they do in comparison. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the fan going. That, I believe, is the lowest. And that, I believe, All right, so we're going to run that, and this is great for circulating the air and the heat pushing it down to where the colder air is on the floor. So we'll let that go. I hate to have a disorganized camp setup, um, so I have to constantly have everything straightened up and put up and uh, all of that. Bit of ground beef. Let me get that out of the way. All right. A little bit of ground beef. out here 10 minutes it's already uh, up to 50 I've got the door open and it's 26 degrees outside uh, the reason why I have the door open is just draw a little bit of air in I am going to be cooking it is going to get really hot in here real quick um, I don't know if uh, my veteran friends remember these from the MREs it's uh, a little bottle of Tabasco so we're going to be putting that in our dinner tonight. Like I said with the willow, it's not wet doesn't feel wet, doesn't smell wet, you know, uh, most folks say that this will rot before it dries out. Up here, it's nice and dry, and of course you can hear it not excessively sparking or popping. And one more in there. I don't want to get it too hot, hot. Of course, I've got the water tank up top uh, for some hot water um, before I go sleep tonight I will get some hot water together and kind of wash up and brush my teeth and do all the personal hygiene things that we all tend to forget while we're out in the field it's a big important thing all right Let me get some more ingredients out of the bag. Tomorrow morning for breakfast, we're going to have uh, bacon and eggs uh, sandwiches. And let's get some of this stuff organized. These are the the 
uh, smell of the aromatherapy inserts for the fan that I did get some fragrance oil uh, I don't know what the name of this is I'm sure my editor will put it in oh but it uh, smells wonderful so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the back side of the fan and let it kick that out So, we're having some 90 second red beans and rice. So I'm going to get that ready to go in with the ground beef and change the battery. Okay, so we've got the 90 second red beans and rice it's usually a microwavable meal but i am going to cook that into ground beef but before we do that i wanted to show a little trick about grease so let me get to that real quick all right all that extra grease and fat we you know is no good for such a small meal like this, there is about a tablespoon of grease in there. Old trick, slice of bread, put it right in there. It'll soak up that extra grease. Makes a great little treat for your dog. It's great for their coats. As you can see, the grease is covered into the bread, and of course, this will go to storage. Got our 90 second microwavable meal that we're going to go ahead and dump right in there with the ground beef. Might have to add a little bit of water. But I think I'm let this simmer for a little bit. fire's dying down a little bit those logs that I just put in I pushed towards the front I just got a cold bed here so this is nice uh, I can control this rather nicely okay so just a couple of things to go over this the, the uh, ceiling fan is is nice on low um, can hardly hear it now um, so it's not so annoying as it is on high um, it gets incredibly incredibly annoying so the stove itself I think is working great um, it's working on getting a little bit of a cold bed in front so I can hear the fire moving forward we shut the flue just a little bit for now but uh, right now we all right, so there you have it, red beans and rice with ground beef. And I'm going to let this cool down a little bit. Once that cools down, I'm going to enjoy some dinner. I do have a slice of bread on top of the stove that I'm just going to crisp up just a little bit. All right, so I'm going to enjoy this delicious dinner. I'll be right back with you. 
So this morning I shot about two hours worth of footage and because of this external microphone and the Wi-Fi connection for the uh, GoPro to my phone, uh, all my audio sounded like uh, a train wreck. So I had to redo everything. Um, and here we are again. And I'm sure every YouTuber will tell you that they've had that problem or lost footage for one reason or another. Uh, it's frustrating, especially just starting out. Um, that footage I felt was really, really good and it was really disheartening to lose it. But uh, it is what it is and we just try to move on. So, if you like my content, like I said, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, pass me around like a cheap floozy, and uh, hopefully we'll find more people that like what we do. Alright, and we're back. That was a great dinner. I'm stuffed. Of course, I couldn't eat not even a quarter of that. Um, so my partner in crime, Sarge, my 215-pound German Mastiff Great Dane, was very appreciative. Um, he's off with Mom now. They went to bed. So uh, it's just us. So uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, Imusa um, Espresso Maker together. Uh, we're going to give it a try. I think it's pronounced Imusa. Um, it might be at um, USA. Um, if anybody knows, uh, just shoot something down in, in the comments below and uh, we'll work that out. But I, I looked at the overall construction of it. I, I think it's uh, made very well. I'm a little bit concerned about the heat and that handle, but we'll check it out. Um, I do have the uh, insert. Right now I'm going to go ahead and put some water in the tank. Um, what's unique about these is that it, it percolates from the bottom up, but then it goes straight into the chamber, so it doesn't recirculate. Um, so it's very interesting in design and how it's made. So, let's get some water going. And... and I do have some ground espresso. Uh, it's uh, from Starbucks. My wife is a Starbucks fanatic, but it's already pre-measured. I put that in this little container. So all I have to do is dump that right in. I want to mash it down a little bit. These little containers, perfect. So get that in there. And then we'll screw this to the underbelly. As you can see it just goes right into there. So we'll get that on the stove, get that to brewing, and we'll see how we make out. Looks like the fan might interrupt my audio so I do apologize if you can hear it. I have a 65% uh, hearing loss in one ear and 85 in another and if I can hear that uh, then it's probably a little bit louder so I do apologize if the audio is screwed up like it all came up at once. It started and by the time I could turn the camera on it was almost done. OK, 
Okay, well here we are. The I'm USA or I'm USA. I was extremely impressed with it. Especially, I, I forgot to mention that the uh, forward, I guess, eight inches has a second plate on it. So uh, underneath the top there. So it's a little bit cooler than the rest of the stove. So, but it still did the job and it did it very quick and uh, here it is and I'm going to try the first sip now. Oh, that's wonderful. There you go. I'll give it a thumbs up. Well, good morning, everybody. It's currently 68 degrees here inside the tent. I'll have the Celsius equivalent down below. It's uh, 10 degrees outside, which is like minus 12 Celsius, I think. But I'll have that down below as well so it was a comfy night fan is still going the battery banks did well now I'm just gonna get up uh, here in a few minutes and make breakfast yeah in a minute 